Kent State is heading on to the semifinals here in the Mid-American Conference Tournament to take on the first seeded Buffalo Bulls. I go into Kent State really confident and it's just one of those things where it, it just didn't feel right. You know, we've worked hard all offseason. I think we're you know, going to be in a better state at the end of this year. We left a little bit on the table at the end of last year, lost our last four, and it's a little bit deceiving because in you know three of the four games we were leading with two minutes to go and we just didn't come through. And so I think this group coming back, I think it was having another chance at the opportunity to sprint through the finish line and, and finish on a higher note is kind of what motivated us in the offseason. Start with red over here, white over there. Let's have a great practice. Just like you worked over there, your first look is the, is the player here. If you don't have that right now, that's still your first look. Okay? That's not there, so we're getting to the wide pin down. Set up your cut, set your cut. If I change on the player, I get a step up. If I use the player, I get a pick and roll through the middle. Let's go, family on three. Family on three. One, two, three. Bam. Bam. On the way to shoot, we get to get in my uh, my private airplanes today. Bro. I'm so excited for this shoot. I'm going to put on my best smile. I got a nice haircut from Great Clips. Hashtag we fly. Hashtag what a beautiful fall day. Behind the scenes with your boy TP. Tune in. We're kind of just trying to sculpt a look with light, trying to frame them in real nice, get some exciting energy to the video, and just kind of add something new and different that a lot of uh, sports teams haven't had in the past. Because you know, Ball State, we got to be cutting edge here. So, chirp, chirp. Very cool location, uh, with some really nice planes, and we're very lucky to, to have had the opportunity to shoot in here. It's mind blowing. It's uh, pretty cool in here. Pretty cool. Wish I could buy all the planes. It's golden. Feeling great. A lot of planes here. It's making me kind of nervous. I have no money whatsoever to my name, so if any one of these things is damaged, it's on the school. Dude, that was awesome. I just threw past Trey Moses. Ah! Taylor and Taylor, baby. I got out here with the basketball team today and I had a successful shoot. Good team of Sportsling crew on hand. And you know what? This basketball season, it's going to be big. Hey, man, I had a productive day. Got shoots done. Time to go home and relax. All state basketball this year and take over the Mac. Double team, Persons drives, he shoots, right wing three pointer and buries it home. I always feel like I've been overlooked, I always play with a chip on my shoulder, I always feel like people have gotten recognition or they got the scholar, like the big time offers that I was better than. Bobs it for Mallers, back to Moses, Moses slams oh! it with two hands. You have got to be kidding me. You know, if I had just impacted one person, then, you know, I, I, I did my due diligence. Athletes in Action is a Christian organization, and I've been impacted by just kind of their their ministry, you know. And, and uh, you know, it's basketball, and it's uh, you know, relationship with Christ. I grew up in a kind of a Christian family. My grandfather was a pastor, but then once my dad moved away, I kind of was just with my mom. You know, we would attend church every now and then. Coach Gronk last year really um, he challenged me every day about my faith. And to be honest, last year I was in a bad place mentally um, with everything that's happened. And I was hearing it, but I wasn't fully, you know, going into it. As I got to know Taylor and Trey better, I, 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 could, I was starting to sense, obviously, the basketball part is an important form, of course, but then there was 
this spiritual curiosity that they both had and as we kind of talked through their careers here, I felt like getting them linked up with AIA would be a, um, a really positive step for them. I got to go to this leadership academy, just learn about leadership, basically through, you know, God, Christian, you know, and um, gave myself to God so I became a Christian. So, you know, honestly, it was the best decision of my life. I, I wanted to strengthen my relationship with the Lord at a time where, you know, I wasn't struggling, but I, you know, I could be better. Uh, but I was really scared on as far as going. So I decided to just go on the trip that I originally planned on, which was New Zealand. I had this opportunity, um, Coach Mo is his name, uh, called me and was like, we, I want you to be on this team and uh, going to Brazil. You know, you get to wear USA, and you get to go play for a gold medal. And that's all he had to say. And I was, I was like the first person to like fully commit to it, so. So we got there and then it was uh, eight games in 10 days, I believe. Every day was, it was a struggle, you know what I'm saying? You're talking about God, you're talking about these deep feelings and still trying to win and still competing at what you love to do. I was kind of demanding the ball every time I got it because I felt like I was the best player on the floor no matter who I was going against. And you know, that's not a thing where, you know, I might not have thought of once before, but um, you know, I was, I was really demanding the ball and trying to score every time I got it. Just to be able to say that I won you know, the gold medal the first year and that exact moment I was just, I was so overwhelmed with the love that we all had for each other. I had a lot of nerves, but you know, we got the job done and that's all that matters. I got to share my testimony twice to two universities. My first year in university, things kind of got worse. So I started to really struggle with depression. Um, I was hospitalized a couple of times just from feeling unsafe. Then my second year, which would have been, or after my second year, um, in May of 2017, I tried to commit suicide. Uh, I was, I pretty much just ended up in the hospital. Um, still not many people know. New Zealand as a whole is like top in the world at, in uh, like their suicide rate. And so just seeing the lives that I impacted with my testimony was just like, crazy to have like people come up to you and like you know that meant a lot to me and like, you know if I had just impacted one person then I, I, I did my due diligence. You know I really got to share moments and uh, talk about God and it was just it was a special moment that I feel like a lot of guys really would say that you know changed them a little bit. It was really what um, I guess what I'd kind of hoped for for them in that they I think both felt like it was a very rewarding experience on multiple levels. I, I feel like I've made an impact and that's what I want to continue to do. When I went on that trip and I accepted God and it's called Audience of One and it's like a prime like principle of Athletes in Action, just talking about that. You know, God's the only person that's going to judge you and He's always going to be happy with what I do. And I feel like it gave me a calmness on the court, which I'm still passionate, but it just gave me a like, hey man, if you make a bad play, you have a bad game, it's not the end of the world. Number one, we have a chance to be very good. But in order for that to happen, I think we feel like our strengths this year are going to be defensively and our athleticism and size. My expectations is to I'm take it one day at a time and go out each day that we play, whether it's Indiana State at home or Purdue at Purdue, or if it's Buffalo in the MAG Championship or East, whoever we're playing. I just want to take it day by day. I mean, I'm not afraid to say it. I hope that this team can play in the NCAA tournament. To me, that's the bar for where we're at. I know we like to talk about the process around here, and, and it's true, it is, and it is a daily thing, but I think it's as you go through that, I think it's, it's okay to say, you know what, we want to play in the tournament.